Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, The Tactical Trader, and it's Wednesday, April 7th. Today, we're going to talk about some ideas on a short side. It's been a f several days since we uh, discussed the short side, so let's, and with the market potentially rolling over here, let's take a look at a few ideas on the short side. Above net, which is on our Boxer Shorts list, broke the trend sharply in early March, formed the bear, flip, bear coil, dropped down, and maybe forming another one right here. Stock sure looks like, there you go, it, uh, sorry about that, it did break the coil, a second one and has been dropping rather steadily down another dollar four today uh, as you can see it stocks in a uh, protracted debt well in a, in a definitive downtrend um, with support down around 42 and three quarters 43 our next target it's about five points from here ultimately if the market does roll over and get some uh, additional pressure over the next few months this stock could be in the mid 30s we'll see how that goes um, as we move forward uh, amag amag Quite interesting that after the big drop in February, the bounce in what looked like a bear uh, wedge rolled over several times and it's held support around the 33 and a half area. But technicals have not improved at all, and neither has volume. And this appears to be a big consolidation before a definitive break of that real important um, lateral support line is broken, as you can see, going back about a year. If, that, if that's taken out, this thing could cascade lower and reach the low low to mid 20s pretty quickly but well, right now we'll leave a target of 28 and a half and then uh 23 and a half 24 as our targets going forward should this thing break but notice that the moving averages have rolled over the stock is um have just bounced off of key support but may begin to roll over and that's what we'll be looking for amsc um american superconductor had a beautiful run uh, from the uh, $8 low up to um, almost mid-40s. Rolled over in February, formed the bear flag, dropped again, rallied back to resistance, failed, rolled over, made lower lows, and over the last three weeks has made more, like more of a bear uh, consolidation type uh, pattern. Now, if it rolls over here, we'd be looking for something down towards, uh, drop towards the bottom of the channel down around 23, uh, or even as low as 20. One there about the uh, July low of last year. Consolidated Energy CNX has f formed a massive head and shoulders type top, broke down and rallied back in bear flag fashion right here to resistance as technicals barely improved. Looks to me like the, a new downtrend may be in force. If this is broken to the downside, look for a drop that takes us back down towards 37 and a half, 38, my uh, trading target. FUQI. Um, We've been recommending this short since the break last October, November. Uh, stock worked its way lower, rallied back to the declining tops line, and then made lower lows. Then it formed a bear channel. Um, slightly, slight breakout here without any volume, and then rolled over hard with a big gap to the downside, currently in a bear wedge. And uh, despite the fact that it's dropped from the low 30s down to um, the uh, under $10, the stock is now forming another bear coil which could lead to lower levels my next target on this is around the seven and three quarters eight zone um, for a downside bear trade kinsey national k-n-s-y also in a downtrend after this head and shoulders top rallied back to the neckline rolled over hard with a breakaway gap to the downside bottom of the channel was reached and the stock has worked its way back up to the top of the channel but with barely moving money stream and balance of power and it appears to be rolling over here down 38 cents today on low volume but this could accelerate and reach down towards an 18 and a half 19 zone my trading target scholastics schl has rolled over and taken out key lateral support going back six months um, and over the last couple of days it's tried to snap back to resistance but it's done no more than that and with very little bounce in technicals it appears that um, Scholastic could be a rollover candidate for a move down to the 23 and a half zone, my trading target. Sohu, S-O-H-U, also in a declining channel. Um, after uh, this massive head and shoulders top was broken, it rallied back to resistance, formed the bear wedge. Now I'm looking for another leg down for a f fifth wave, one, two, three, four, five waves down. It takes it down about 42, 43 zone. My trading target. Telvent, TLVT, um, well, definitely has broken its major rising channel. It broke its short-term channel 
uh, here in February for the bear flag, and they got slammed to the bottom of the major channel before rallying. But it's been backing and filling and narrowing. What well, looks like a large bear coil or bear wedge. Looking for with the, with the moving average having rolled over. I'm looking for a break to the downside and a move down to at least a test the 24 area, and then possibly as low as the high teens around 18 and a half, 19 down the road. Lastly, transcend TRCR. Um, bro broke the trend line, came down, bounced, and now it's formed a bear coil. I'm looking for a move that takes us down to test the um, 13 and a half, 14 zone down here um, for the next trading target to the downside. That's it for today. Some ideas on the short side for you.